Um, I, uh, so think of this almost like the eclipse of this, uh, of this community. Um, and support for the other DLTs and smart contract engines is something folks are, are interested in working on. Uh, but that's all kind of the, the geek side of things, and, and obviously that's where my heart is. Uh, but it wouldn't matter much if this wasn't actually getting uh, some traction out there in the market. Now, uh, we're very kind of, uh, 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 I don't want to say the term, uh, um, uh, we're very cautious because everything is still pre 1.0, but there's a lot of appetite out there now to take even, even these early versions of the code uh, and put them into pilots and proof of concepts at the very least. Uh, in fact, uh, over the last three months, we tracked uh, 80 different announcements of proofs of concept projects out there. And this might sound silly, like all of us could do a, PO, a proof of concept of setting up a website on our own laptop, right? But a, a proof of concept in a blockchain network usually involves more than one company, usually involves a whole lot of work done to try to model a business process first. Uh, and, and so usually these aren't even launched until you know a year or two into kind of deciding, okay, let's do a project together. Um, and so this is, this is good validation. We'll all be really happy when these move to pilots and to production. Um, there are already four or five uh, private uh, deployments in production uh, being tracked by IBM, by their, uh, their, their sales and engineering team. Uh, but, uh, but quite a few public pilots now that, that uh, uh, are getting mentioned. Um, and this, many of the companies mentioned here uh, in these announcements have our members of Hyperledger, uh, DTCC, IBM, TMX. Uh, some of them, like I mentioned, the Bank of Cambodia is pretty interesting, right? Uh, it's a kind of a left field kind of a candidate, but they're pretty excited and they plan to put software developers on the project, which is pretty cool. Um, I, and uh, the, the, Chile, the, the National Stock Exchange of Chile is also adopted. Right? So this really is a global kind of thing. Um, I, in fact, I think I've mentioned before, uh, when I talked about this before, um, we've, we, have, we certainly have a lot of uh, participation from uh, our Japanese community uh, into, into the project. Uh, and increasingly, we're also seeing participation from uh, uh, members of China as well, uh, and other parts of Asia. So we're really thinking of this as a, as a global effort. Um, we're, we're getting a lot of attention out there. I don't want to dwell on this too much because, uh, but, but uh, uh, corresponding to the attention that blockchain technologies are having, people are I think, waking up to the fact that, uh, in fact, one article recently uh, uh, out there uh, uh, suggested that maybe blockchain technology isn't like the internet so far as it's not going to be like Yahoo and Google, you know, uh, where there were like big financial returns for a bunch of really companies. But maybe, maybe blockchain technology is more like what Linux has been, which is, you know, if you tried to be an investor investing in Linux in 1998, 1999, uh, it was really hard, right, uh, to figure out and, and to make any money from that. But Linux has had this dramatic economic impact upon every company in the technology sector, right, and helped build dramatic new companies. I don't know that you would see AWS today if it hadn't been for Linux. I don't think you would see Google uh, today if it hadn't been for Linux. Right, and so um, uh, there are many people suspecting that this will be an underlying kind of current, um, even while another part of the industry focuses very much on ICOs and the price of Bitcoin and that sort of thing. Um, so we're really excited about the attention that this other side of the equation is getting, um, and we have a very active blog with our community now contributing uh, a, a, a huge portion of the content to that blog. Um, uh, and this wouldn't really be meaningful unless we were also talking about both developer metrics, but also about uh, the kind of companies that are becoming part of what we're doing. Uh, just like automotive grade Linux, which is growing like gangbusters, just like uh, CNCF, the Cloud Native Compute Foundation, which is growing quickly. Uh, we're seeing a lot of new members joining uh, Hyperledger as well. Uh, just in the last few months, we've grown to over 140 member uh, sponsoring members. And these are companies that not only are you know believe in what we do and maybe working with the code, they've actually made a financial contribution to the project, which allows my staff and I to wake up every morning and get involved in the project, right? Uh, and to think about doing all the things that developers, frankly, don't like to do. <laughs> uh, everything from uh, the legal terms and the uh, 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 and marketing, getting the word out, uh, to uh, uh, running the continuous integration servers, you know, the kinds of things the Linux Foundation really pioneered with the Linux community um, and now is being replicated by all the other projects under the Linux banner. 
Um, we have also added three new premier members in that period of time. Uh, these are really the ones that contribute at the, the top level. Uh, uh, and they're three very different companies. Um, one of them is SAP, which I'm sure you're familiar with, is really big in supply chain uh, and uh, ERP types of applications. Um, and that's where I, I saw a presentation from their CTO uh, uh, at their, their global kind of developer day where they said, this is our you know, core of our, uh, of our products today, the architecture of our products, all these different boxes layered one on top of another. And they said, this is what we'll be in three years or two years. And every one of those boxes had like a little hyperledger green box <laughs> embedded inside. Uh, so they really see reinventing their business, um, particularly their Reba business through the use of blockchain technology. Um, another big one is uh, a healthcare company called Change Healthcare, which um, uh, is a US-based healthcare company, about 15,000 employees. Uh, they, they handle a double-digit percentage of the claims processing uh, in the United States around healthcare. And uh, uh, we have several other healthcare members, but um, the healthcare sector is going to be really big, we think, for blockchain technology, particularly if we can address these um, issues around personally identifiable information. Uh, and a third member uh, that you'll hear more about uh, pretty soon is NEC, and we're really happy to be welcoming them. Um, but I'll let them uh, talk a bit about, uh, about that. Um, uh, so, so yeah, so a lot of kind of positive momentum from the membership front. Uh, and the developer community is growing really strong. Um, and people are recognizing, I think, that, that what we're doing at Hyperledger is really meaningful. Um, this is a quote, I, I won't read it, it, but it's from an analyst out there, pretty widely regarded, who uh, basically is talking about how every one of these markets is going to get reinvented um, through the use of blockchain technology. Every market out there um, typically is dependent upon a central company to manage the market, to provide the system of accounts and all of that. Uh, and that has been, um, I, I, the, often, sometimes that works, oftentimes there's, there's fees involved with that, oftentimes that limits the amount of uh, innovation that's possible in those markets. Um, if you remake it as a distributed ledger platform, you open up the potential to do something a lot bigger. Um, and so what he's saying is the, uh, the number of use cases recovering, the number of companies getting involved is really validation of the model. And, and frankly, to that, we have the Linux community to thank and the Linux Foundation to thank because you know, I think that's the community uh, that had really pioneered this concept of, of getting different kinds of organizations to work together on common infrastructure, on common plumbing. And Hyperledger is just carrying that forward. And so with that, uh, I think I've run out of my time. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to float around uh, the conference the rest of the day. Uh, but thank you very much.